Hi guys, welcome back and hey to everyone that's new as well. Um, so today we're going to be going into the inner workings of your person's mind. Uh, we're going to be having a look at what it is that they are hiding from you. Uh, first of all, our snow leopard has come. So if you guys want to think of names for them, um, we've got Polly the polar bear, someone named her Polly. Um, and now we have our snow leopard as well. So if you want to give them, give it, him, her a name that would be great as well let me know the all the adoption certificates and things have come through so we've got our two lucky mascots for the channel one for the masculine and one for the feminine uh, so we've got that mutual energy running through the through the through the channel through as well as through the readings okay so what are they hiding from you uh, we're going to go into the inner workings of the little minds see what's actually going on deck number one and deck number two hashtag pick a deck if you want to go to which deck you are having a pull from the heart chakra towards um, I need to get your vortexes kind of coming in that's it number one and number two uh, number two is gonna be heavier okay Three, two, one, ding, like the microwave. Okay, so as always, as you know the deal, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of situations and what's going on. It's gonna go into all your energies, go into all your people's energies and pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Deck time is in the description. To slow me down, press the little three dots in the right hand corner. Okay, let's go, deck number one. Can we find out what their person as a whole is hiding from them? Think about your person. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? And let's also get into all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of your person as well. Debt number one. Uh, the first thing I'm getting is I'm getting a song, uh, Chase and Status, uh, Let You Go. Which is quite an intense song, actually. The lyrics are really, really intense for that song. But um, it's saying that they can't, no matter what they're doing with their life, they kind of uh, can't seem to release the situation. You, you, they, you can't release it, and they can't release it. So there's obviously more going on here than what they're letting on. Um, and that will be the first thing that they're hiding from you, is that they can't actually release the situation. So whether whatever your individual circumstances are, whether they're ignoring you, whether they're blowing hot and cold with you, whether you haven't spoke to them in a year, whether you're speaking to them every day, um, whatever's going on, they cannot release the situation from their energy and even if they try it's still there and firstly they are hiding that from you they don't want you to know that can you tell me what is it that that number one's people are hiding from them so we're going to do a nine card spread me guide us in what are they hiding from them we turn around for private bookings has gone down a little bit as well as of today Remember, all readings are timeless as well. We can always get asked these questions, don't we? Readings are timeless because there's no such thing as time in the higher dimensions. Because that is how psychics work. What are they hiding from them? Thank you. Two, three, four. What are they hiding from them? I don't remember. Two, one. Two, three. Oh, I've also got, I don't know where this fits in, but I've also got Freestyler, rock the microphone, wake up stereo, Freestyler, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let's just get one for the overall theme actually, let's get one on top, we have one for the overall theme of what they are hiding from them. So your person is in a little bit of, as a whole, you, you guys, are your person's in a little bit of a runner kind of territory going on. Um, so if they are not in contact, your, your overall outcome, overall theme kind of thing is temperance. So if you're not in contact or if you're in a little bit of contact or you're feeling like you're having, nothing's really moving forward. Um, that's because there's a lot of stuff that is going on in the inner workings of their mind and what they want to put forward. So first of all, they are knowing that they can't release the situation no matter what they want to do, uh, no matter how much they may want to, sorry, 
they can't release the situation. Now the other side of what they're hiding from you is that they are actually a little bit hurting at the moment and you're echoing that kind of energy. There is a pain around the heart center and there's also that kind of anxiety in their stomach. They're feeling like, so first of all you've got three of swords, um, you, they're feeling like they are struggling with the situation and when they think of you sometimes they get these either little butterflies or butterflies that kind of anxiety now they don't want to tell you how much this situation has actually affected them how much the situation has affected their energy um, and the reason for that is because there's that conflicting energy around them they're trying to work out what it is they actually want from the situation all they know well they know that they can't pull away from you um, and they know that they're hurting from the situation and if they kind of express that to you, that is showing that they are vulnerable. There's that word again, vulnerability is coming up quite a lot in the, the last reading and this one. They're showing that kind of vulnerability towards you and they don't actually want to do that at this moment in time. They're also hiding that there is, they have got good hopes for the future, that they could see that you and them could have a beautiful blossoming future, but they just don't know how to get from A to B with, well, A to C without going through B, and you guys are currently in this kind of B energy. Um, the spirit is saying, can you get a blue crystal? A lot of you, if you're not in communication, get a blue crystal and either, if you can wear it on a necklace, or if you can, if you've got a lady or equivalent, put it down your bra, or if you're allowed, put it in your pocket. Um, because the blue is going to open up your throat chakra and it will help that kind of communication come forward. Uh, turquoise will be a good bet. Also, um, I think, I'm, I can't say it, I can't, they're trying to show it me. It's the, a pale blue, it's like angel eye, I think that's what it's called. Um, and there's also one that begins with a C, which is that kind of bluey colour. So if you kind of put those around you, that will open up the avenues for that communication to come through, those of you that aren't in contact. So they're hiding the vulnerability, they're hiding that they've got this kind of like, oh, what am I actually going to do about the situation? They're hiding that they're hurting it from you, hiding that they are hurting from you as well. Um, and they're also hiding that they don't really know how to move the situation forward or what they want. A lot of your people are being non-committal at this moment in time. Um, the reason for that is because of all of the above, everything else that we have stated. Um, and there's some of you, uh, some of them are feeling that the situation has come to a close. Now, with that feeling that it's come to a close, with that feeling with the death card that it's come to an end, um, I'm going to show you. Ba -dum, ba -dum. With that feeling that it's kind of come to a close, they are um, worried now that this soul pull is so strong that they can't actually escape the situation. So they're working out how to make moves back towards you, they're working out what to express to you, and they're working out what actually is the best way of doing it. And they are not telling you any of this because they don't want to appear vulnerable. They don't want to appear that they have lost control of the situation because they are the ones that have always been in control of it as a whole, as your collective. They're the ones that have been like, it's on my terms, these are my terms, my conditions, this is how I want it. And you've kind of gone along with it. And they're realising now as the situation's kind of unfurling, sorry, as it's unfurling, that they've lost their grip on that control. Um, and they're hiding that from you because they don't fully want you to know that that control element is being lost from their, their side. So when that happens, that vulnerability kind of comes through even stronger. So they're a little bit stuck, feeling a little bit in muddy waters. You haven't got the hanged man, but they are feeling in that, that hanged man type energy. Now, some of them have got a few secrets, but these are going to come out as time progresses with you and them. Um, there's nothing excessively as a collective reading deck that you need to be worrying about with regard to those secrets. Um, Spirit is saying trust your own intuition, trust your own instinct, trust your own gut instinct with that. And if you need a little bit of help with that, they're saying, can you get some road across it, crystal, and also... Um they're saying a tiger's eye to kind of get the truth, gain the truth, get that stability so that they can express what's actually going on and you can find out what's going forward, what's going on with the situation. Then that can move it forward. Sorry, that was a translation error. Um, your person's feeling like they're bobbing their head above the water at this moment in time, um, feeling that they've made quite a few mistakes in their life as a whole. Um, 
and then some of them are feeling that the world kind of owes them something because of that feeling a little bit like uh the victim as such feeling a bit in that victim energy um feeling like the world owes them something feeling that they aren't doing as well as they would like to do some of them have got issues um as well that they want to be settling down um but they don't know what to do when to do it who with etc etc um so they're just hiding all of that from you they're hiding that their head is messed up they're hiding that their heart is generating love towards you and they're just kind of bobbing their head above the water some of them is really suffering with kind of the the negative momentum of the thoughts and what's happening there um yeah that's it and they're feeling feeling very stuck by the situation feeling very fed up um hoping for things to get better but not actually making things get better they're kind of wallowing in a little bit of self-pity at the moment um bobbing with their heads above the water but knowing that this could progress, but they've just kind of feeling that they've shot themselves in the foot at the moment because they made these choices and they made these decisions and um, and now they are suffering from their react your reactions to their actions, you know? And they haven't got that capability to express that to you at this moment in time. They don't feel strong enough. Um, they don't, yeah, don't feel strong enough. So they're hurting, um, in conflict, bit confused knowing that they want a future with you you've got two aces you've got the ace of swords you've got the ace of cups knowing that they want this future with you um but feeling a little bit like how's how is this going to happen concerned that you would find out the real them and find out that they would be vulnerable find out that this has been messing with their heads and their hearts finding out that you are actually more in control of the situation than what they are all of those fears are what they are hiding from you um it will come up in conversation as things progress with the two of you that will happen as time time naturally progresses the spirit saying that is what will happen it's going to come up in conversation some of them will show you with their actions not their words that they have this vulnerability um some of them will express it to you more over commun uh, over text message sorry wrong wrong thing there over text message just saying little bits and pieces towards you now it might feel that they're having a go at you but that's not their intention at all they're just trying to mask over what's actually happening and how they're actually feeling and what they're hiding and um, so these cards aren't actually that bad you've just kind of got a bit of a not yet um the other side of this the only other thing we have here is the magician so if you're not manifesting get manifesting um, get the situation moving forward if you want them to express what they are hiding um, towards you you could say the universe what would it take for blah to tell me the the reality of his situation or his her situation uh, as if by magic and we totally move it see if you can get them to express what's happening some of you will sit down and have a coffee um, one of you is going to be doing a, I know this. I, it's hard when they show me individual messages for the group of you, one of you is doing an art project um, and your person will come and watch that I'm hearing as well and they will use kind of work as that scapegoat to communicate with you um, rather than texting you and just saying how you're doing, what's going on, they'll use your working environment as a scapegoat to kind of come towards you. Um, definitely one of you in the art exhibition but that's as a whole with a lot of you as well. So yeah, hiding hiding feelings, hiding emotions, hiding vulnerability, hiding that their head's a little bit pickled, hiding that they're hurting, hiding that they feel that like they've made the wrong uh, uh, choices and decisions and not sure how to go about it, not sure how to move it forward. You can manifest it. All of this will come to a close. They'll communicate with you how they're feeling. Um, it's not over for good if you guys are thinking it's over. As your collective energy, it's not over for good. This is going to come back round. Um, and they will express to you what's happening. Other things that they're hiding, there will be little secrets here and there. It feels that like there could have been a few white lies that you have been told, but there's not going to be anything that massively dark as a whole that comes out the closet to haunt you. So it's pretty good, really. And that's deck number one. Okay, let's do deck number two, BCs. What are we on? 13, 20. Can you get me into my collective energy of deck number two? Collective energy of deck number two. Okay, think about your person. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? Oh, God, who was that? Who sang that song? Is it Seal about a rose? Or something about a rose? That's come through really clearly. I'm not sure if I know that song. I can just hear the title of Rose and then I'm sure it's a guy called Seal, like a rose or something. 
Okay, think about your person. I've already told you that. Okay, can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? Step number two. And let's get into all possibilities. Let's get into all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number two. And can you tell me, please, what is their person hiding from those watching? So again, as always, you know the score works on the strongest mutual energy with you all rather than individual circumstances. Uh, if you want to look at individual circumstances, drop me an email at mysticlotaru at gmail.com. Okay, can you tell me what is their person hiding from them? What is their person hiding from them? One, two... That's interesting. Three. Just hold that. It's telling me guy to hold the, the message. Your people um, are waking up. What are they hiding from on five? Six. I do that many sit-ups with cars flying everywhere. Seven. Eight. What are they hiding from on nine? And let's get an overall turn. Okay. So your person is hiding from you that actually some of them have been exploring what this connection is between the two of you. Um, some of them have been kind of opening up a little bit more spiritually. Now that doesn't mean that they've all been going on the internet and researching divine relationships, but they have been kind of thinking, actually, there is more to this than meets the eye. And it's kind of starting that wake up call for them. Um, I've just had a clairvoyant image of their third eye opening up and flicking its lids a little bit. And it's kind of an indigo color as well. So they're connecting up with their crown chakra and connecting up with their third eye color. Um, and listening to their own intuition and their own guidance and they're realizing that there is more to this situation than meets the eye um they aren't going to tell you that because firstly um a lot of them they can understand that you're spiritual but they they're not going to understand that there's a you know a lot more than they do kind of not aware of that some of you have tried to express it to them and they've gone nah that's just a load of tosh um but the other ones have kind of actually took on board what you've said and thought well you know maybe there is more to this and you guys are kind of echoing on that energy um you've got that mirroring kind of energy between the two of you now if you're not in communication or is there is a block between the two of you at the moment your moon energies moon is always the feminine your energies are going to kind of move in together and this block is going to be shifted um your people are standing a lot in the feminine energy at the moment rather than the masculine energy and this is why psychically they're kind of trying to tap in a little bit i wouldn't say tune in and turn on but they're trying to tap into what's actually happening um with it and they're not going to tell you that they're hiding that from you uh, they're also hiding again this this element of protection so they're trying to understand it from a different perspective trying to understand what's actually happening trying to understand the soul pill um, and then they've kind of got this block up as well where they're not letting you into knowing any of that any of that what's just going on um, they're hopeful that it's going to turn in the right direction um, but they're just going to go with the flow of it they can have this period of rest or healing etc that's going on at this moment on a, on a universal level I'm hearing um, and also Spirit is saying regardless of the geographical locations between the two of you it's irrelevant they are still going through this whole kind of oh should I wake up um, having pushes and nudges from spirit into the right direction of this is actually more going on than meets the eye hiding it from you though and having a block up is definitely there they're feeling like they have made a few mistakes in their life they're feeling a little bit alone they're feeling a little bit abandoned they're seeing you in a more kind of this is just staring at me so i'm gonna have to throw it at you seeing you in a more stable position and when you're starting to get your head screwed on and you're feeling a lot better they're starting to think well something's not quite right here how can they be feeling better and i'm feeling worse this tends to happen if you're not in communication when you start to feel better they start to feel worse as a whole and then when they feel worse that's when contact can come in for those of you that aren't in communication um, but they're seeing you in this stability and they're feeling that they aren't quite good enough and um, looking towards you because they do love you they're trying to put fears and doubts behind them and um, knowing that if they also turn to face the other way you guys can move it forward and be celebrating together but at the moment they're feeling that you are stronger you are better than them and they're having this kind of vulnerability on that side of things um, but they're not going to express that towards you, they're hiding that from you. Um, the other side of things is they're hiding this conflicting energy about them making an offer towards you. Some of them want to be moving forward with some kind of peace offer.
offering or love offering or oh I'm ready for this to progress I'm ready for this to happen but I'm feeling a little bit conflicted some of their friends are having a bit of an influence on this some of uh, as a whole this is split into you guys are split into 50 50 actually some of the friends are supporting you and their relationship and some of their friends are not supporting you in their relationship so that is mutual energy split into two parts okay so you'll know which side you are on um regardless of that they're trying to put it to the back of their mind they don't want you to know that other people are putting judgments and choices and, and trying to persuade them to go down a certain path they don't want you to know that they're hiding that from you um but they're hoping that they're going to express what's going on once they feel a bit more stable in their own right and that will happen by not listening to people that are trying to connect with them communicate with them and sway their opinion whether that's in a positive light or a negative light whichever direction it is they're blocking that okay so they're hiding that from you as well um they're hiding that they want to make moves towards you they just know that they have a number of choices to make they can see that you are the one in this beautiful cup you are the one that they want and on the left hand side you kind of got the reconciliation side of things so they're knowing that reconciliation is going to come and they can see you in this beautiful light and the kind of a lot of them put you on a pedestal but they're not going to tell you that either okay um and this is going to make these movements towards you they're feeling a little bit fed up with the situation and um, they're feeling that you guys have tried to catch them out for stuff that they haven't been doing and um, for quite a lot of you in this deck some of you are going it works on the strongest mutual energy if you've been spying on them or watching their social media or trying to find out what has been going on in their life um the worry you've been trying to add two and two together and you haven't really been asking them what's been going on either, mainly because of circumstances but they're frightened about that um so they know that they've got to kind of up their game soon but they're not going to let you in on their game plan and tell you what's going to happen i just heard the winner takes it all and you kind of at this bat they are seeing this at the moment as a battle of wills um but it's going to shift in your direction you have the eight of pentacles and the sun so once we've kind of worked all through this you've got moving forward to your happy outcomes and the masculine energy feeling more tapped in, more tuned in, more turned on, working out, the work they've put in being rewarded. Equally, that will reflect onto you guys for the mirroring aspect of it and it's all going to shift and move. So hiding from you, what we've got, we've got spiritually awakening that they've got a block up that's being shifted feeling that you are more stable than they are and they're feeling weak and they don't know how to tell you that or show you that you've got the friends and family making a bit of an influence on it whether in a positive light or a negative light that is starting to sway their opinion but that will be put aside as they make these moves towards you later down the line you know they want to be with you they can see you on this pedestal and they know that if um, they carry on the way they are they're going to make a bit of a mess up so you're watching their social media they're watching you on social media a lot of them and they're going to make these moves towards you cut through this fed up energy and move towards the love that they have for the uh, between you and the reconciliation is there they're seeing this as a temporary pause gap rather than a um, or even if you're still in communication they're seeing as they're not quite yet but we're moving in the right direction okay reconciliation is here they want to be with you they'll make those choices the emotions will be more stable and secure and then once they've done that they'll ex they'll uh, work it out and move it forward and you have the happy outcomes from your masculine energy standing strong in their power um so they're hiding their thoughts, their feelings, their emotions, what they're actually thinking about the situation. Is there anything that you need to be aware of? Um, not necessarily more than what we've said as a collective reading. Um, just that they're crying over spilt milk. A lot of them are realising that they've made some serious F-ups um, and that they've got to go back and kind of change that for things to move forward with you. Um, they won't express that to you. Um, whatever your individual circumstances are, some of them are feeling that they have made big mistakes and that they have got to go back and fix them um, and that will come with this reconciliation card depending on if you want to talk to them about it or not um, I can see some of you guys meeting up for coffee I can see uh, there's an image I don't know what country that is there's a stream next to you and you're walking hand in hand down the stream this is a guy that is um, 
not from a kind of white British origin, well, I'm well British, but not from that origin, kind of looking maybe more kind of European side of things, uh, but definite brown hair, darker colour skin, um, the girl we've kind of got, we've got looked like the girl's more British blonde, well not British, but uh, blonde hair, that's because I'm British, that's all I say, blonde hair, thicker blonde hair, now you're walking down the side of this stream holding hand in hand talking about things they're expressing to you what's happening some of them are drinking more in deck two as well drinking possible drug intoxication as well that's kind of going on as a little bit of escapism again that's not all of you that's some of you but drugs uh some of them sorry drugs are coming forward and alcohol is coming forward as a bit of an escapism behavior that's coming through as what they're hiding from you as well um if as well, Spirit saying, sorry, they're bombarding me now. If they've been going out and they haven't been texting you back, um, it's not because they're hiding anything specifically from you as a whole, but they're just not wanting to communicate with you when they're trying to forget about it for the time being and work through what's going on in their head. So if that, if that is you, try not to overly worry about that as well. They've also just shown me, we're going a different way, we've got to put the cards down, Spirit off. They've also just shown me an egg and the egg is hatching. So they're in this period of gestation at the moment, working it all through. Once that hatches once the egg cracks there's going to be this new rebirth which means this reconciliation or moving forward or reunion or even union moving things forward together will happen um but they've got to break down this hard shell that they've put around them first this block um and they're gonna hide that from you hide that they've got this block up and you haven't actually seen the real them yet seen bits of it but not them as a whole and um, because they're gonna hide that how who they really are the vulnerability side of them from you because they don't want you to think that they're weak and that's step number two okay so if you want to book a private reading email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com i do 50 minutes half an hour single questions my wait list has gone down a tiny bit so uh, as of today so if you want to get in touch just drop me an email uh what else what else what else do we need to tell them puppy dog uh instagram mysticlovetarot uh and, oh yeah, name the Snow Leopard. I can't think of a name for him, her. Feels like it needs to be a masculine, seeing as Polly is our feminine. So if you can think of a masculine energy name for this one, we'll go with that. Okay, and that's it, guys. So, lots of love to you all, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.